Hey guys, it's Ray here. I want to talk to you today about uh, your audio on your um, YouTube videos or whatever content you're creating. Um, I'm hoping that you're using an external microphone. I use an external one sometimes. Right now I'm using the one on the camera and I wanted to let you know the difference between them um, today. So uh, I'm going to show you, I just ordered this, just got it in and uh, it's the uh, Faravala S20. Uh, it's a it's an on-camera microphone made by Small Rig. Came with at a really good price compared to some others. Uh, let's say the Rode Video Micro uh, compared to. It's a lot cheaper than that. It also comes with an extra uh, lapel mic, and so uh, so it's it's going to be more useful in certain things. And for the price, it's a great starter mic. Now this mic may not have. Uh, some of the deeper bass pickup on, uh, on on the sound, but you're you're only going to notice that if you compare them side by side. So for the price, I really like this, and I'm going to let you see what it sounds like. First of all, let's open this up and see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to pull it open here. I haven't opened this yet, so give me a. Here it is in there. It looks like we have the uh, the protective little bag that comes with it right on the front. So I'm gonna pull the plastic off so I can see it. And I'm gonna pull this out and take a look. So inside here, you can see uh, the, the mic, it's, uh, looks like it's right here. There's a little uh, 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 fluffy thing for a lot of wind. Some people call this a dead cat because that's what it looks like. It also has some other uh, wind uh, protection too. So it's called a windscreen. So anyway, I'm going to connect this up now and we're going to see if you can tell the difference between what I'm saying right now and what I'm saying in just a minute. So hang on there. Oh, I forgot. I also wanted to just pull some things out of here so you can see what's going on. Uh, I'll uh, pull the wind, windscreen right there and sock. So put that down right there. Here is the microphone itself. And if you Pull this off. You can see what the microphone looks like. Okay. Now this is a cardioid mic. It's it's not a real directional microphone. You'd have to pay a lot of money for a much longer mic to be able to reach out and get things out in front of you. And generally speaking, that's not what you're going to want anyway. Usually you're going to want a lapel mic right here to, to talk so it's right with you. Uh, but this is great on the front of the camera so you can pick up what's going on uh, on somebody that may not be able to wear a mic at that time. So put that down. Now we have different connectors here. Uh, we have uh, two different types of connectors and they have uh, different amounts of uh, signals that run through them. One, one is particularly for, let's say, a, a, a mobile phone, cell phone, and the other one is for a, a DSLR camera for the connections. And then here is the little, uh, the little lapel mic and uh, it just connects up right there. It has uh, some length to it. I was thinking this came with an extension cord, but I don't see one. So hopefully this will be long enough for what I need to do right now. Uh, so that's a little disappointing. Maybe, maybe it's in the box somewhere else. But anyway, uh, this is what I would probably use most of the time. So we'll see what they're both going to sound like. All right, this was really funny because I had I did some other recordings and the sound sounds the same and I was going well, what's wrong with this and and finally I went back and did some tests and realized oh I was using the wrong plug to plug into my camera so I was not getting audio from the external mic that I have here so it was just coming from the mic that was on my camera and so uh, uh, so a little time has gone by it looks a little darker outside but here I am again it's running again now and hopefully you're gonna see a big difference in the sound the sound should be a lot better at this point and hopefully that's a uh, something that a really uh, drive it home how important it is to have external mics uh, on your on your person or uh, or, or uh, on top of the camera aiming out so that you're not using the mic on the camera remember, remember this this microphone is a inexpensive microphone uh, you get what you pay for but it really still sounds pretty darn good and I'm very happy with it compared to uh, like I said earlier is the, the the Rode Video Micro which is kind of a comparable type of setup once again uh, it has uh, some more bass into it but you never know it you'd never know it having them unless they're right next to each other this is a good setup now the lavalier that I have on uh, through my testing I couldn't get it to plug directly into my camera 
um, I'm using a, a phone right now to, to record this because my other camera I'm just not using at the moment and um, and so I, I went through some testing with that and I realized it has to be plugged in to the on-camera mic that I'm using so um, just to show you I'm gonna pull it off the camera real quick I can't pull it too far away from the camera but so the on-camera mic is this one fits on the camera with the little cold shoe and then the lavalier that I have on is plugged in right there okay now I have an adapter to help to plug it into my phone and so I'm sure there's other ways to do it and or uh, you know I could have the lavalier by itself but in this case the way the setup comes that's all I could do hang on a second There we go. So it's all back together. Uh, once again, I'm, I'm still happy with this. I think it has a much better sound than, than you were hearing uh, uh, you know, just from the internal mic. So yay, I'm so excited about it. Once again, this is the uh, Furavala S20 microphone from Small Rig, and uh, I got it for, like I said, real cheap. I got it off of Amazon, but you can go straight to Small Rig too. So either way, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. hope you learned something from it. Stay creative and uh, keep making those videos. Use an external mic. Take care, y'all. Okay, I wanted to test this microphone right here because earlier the microphones didn't sound as good in the location I was. I'm going to put this back on the camera. Now, I'm going to talk with the microphone on. As you see, I have this on too. Now, I'm going to tap this just to see what the sound is. I'm going to tap the one on the camera. Okay. Now, I'm going to hold this microphone next to the camera microphone. Testing right there to see how that sounds with the two microphones together. Now, I'm going to bring this microphone right to my mouth to talk and talk with it to see how it sounds. And finally, I'm going to bring it back down to where I was before with the microphone on camera and with the lavalier down below. Let's see what sounds the best. Okay, I did a, a little bit more testing. I couldn't quite tell what was going on, so I had to put on my headphones to see what was going on there. And I finally realized during my first video with the camera that's uh, the microphone that's built into the camera my house air conditioning uh, fan was going, okay? So it was, it was causing this uh, little sound in the background that was, uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't quite tell the difference. As a matter of fact, sometimes it sounded better with the camera microphone than it did with, uh, with the small rig microphone. So then I did some other testing and, and uh, wore headphones to listen to it. And yes, it did make a big difference. And uh, so I, once again, I'm pleased. Uh, it, it does require the mics together to be both on at the same time, one mic. In other words, this one has to be plugged into the one that's on the camera, and the one that's on the camera is plugged into the camera. And uh, that made all the difference in the world. Um, I've learned my lesson. I'm not going to have the whole house fan on anymore because it causes this rumble in the background, and um, so it's not as good. Also, this little microphone doesn't pick up as much bass, and so the on-camera mic picks up a little more of that bass that I was talking about earlier. So I'm happy with that. So what's what's going on is it is utilizing both microphones and you're picking up just a little uh, more richness with both microphones on anyway. So I really still like this microphone. Uh, after the testing back and forth for a bit, I wasn't quite sure. Uh, but after I did some more testing, I felt very comfortable with this. I like it. I think it produces what I need for what I'm doing right here, and uh, I'm excited about it. So with that, everybody, thank you so much. Keep creating, and we'll see you next time.